Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we are going to be creating our view model and our first view for um, uh, shopping uh, item so adding a shop adding an item to shopping cart okay so let's go ahead and create not a new file actually first let's create a new group we're gonna call this one view models And this is going to be called shopping form. Okay. Now the shopping form is going to be a class. And this is going to be an observable object. It's going to have three published properties. gonna have shopping item ID um, basically because we are using this form for um, both updating and uh, creating new item gonna have two initializers it's one initializer that does not take anything and second one that take shopping item this is in case when we have uh, an update coming in and we want to update the item. So if you are, we, we're going to use this um, initializer uh, whenever we have to update an item and this initializer whenever we have to create a new item. Okay. All right, quantity. Okay. All right. Okay. So that is our that is our form. Uh, now next up, we're gonna create our form view. Okay. So let's create a new folder called views All right and create a new file and this file is going to be swift ui view okay and uh although let's select swift you swift file actually i like i like to start with a clean uh slate so um shopping form view okay now here we're going to import from swift ui gonna create a struct inheriting from view uh, first thing we're gonna do do is uh, we're gonna get access to the environment object okay to get our store Um, then we're gonna get handled to our environment object one more time not environment object environment and gonna say we need presentation mode we're gonna have an observed uh, object Or the form where we're gonna keep track of all the changes that the user is doing and we're gonna create quantity options an array where we're gonna actually show a picker list uh, for user to select the quantity okay now instead you can ask user to Basically, increment or decrement using a, using a stepper control or something. Um, so we can do that too. Okay. 
And uh, then we're gonna. Okay, so this is observed, observed object, not observable object. Okay, and I'm gonna create the body for this view. And the body for this view is going to have a navigation view, which is gonna have a form. Okay, form is gonna have a text field. And text is going to be bound to form dot title. Okay, going to have a picker. Selection is going to be tied to the quantity. For the label, we're going to simply say text quantity. And you can say for each quantity options, you're gonna ID them by self. And we're gonna create a text for the options. And that is going to create our picker list. Okay. Next up, um, we are going to have a section which is going to have a header. It's going to show notes. Um, and I'm going to press Control Command Space to launch emoji and uh, search for note and I'll take this uh, yellow book binder indicator and use that right there okay um, all right so text field and it's gonna have nothing for the label and our empty string for the label and form dot notes like so okay um let's put some navigation bar title and stuff so navigation bar um navigation bar title is gonna be shopping form display mode let's set it to inline now we do want to add a couple of uh, functions uh, for cancel and save so let's go ahead and first create those actions so we can separate them by putting it into a extension and this is dismiss basically cancel the operation and we're gonna say presentation mode dot wrapped value dot dismiss okay and uh, we're gonna create a function for save and this is basically gonna check if form is updating and form dot shopping id has an id then we're gonna simply say store dot update item and we're gonna supply the id the form dot title form dot notes form dot quantity okay that's gonna basically save our item when we update that and we're gonna use create to basically create a new entry like so okay and at the end of both operation operations we want to dismiss our dialog right so let's go ahead and use these so navigation bar items 
we need both both leading and trailing and the views are going to be buttons so button cancel action is dismiss without parentheses and the trailing is once again button now here we want to actually uh, check if the form is updating right then we want to show update otherwise we want to show save okay for the action we want to simply call save all right yes okay all the errors are gone let's go ahead and try to build everything should build uh, build succeeded so awesome so we have um successfully finished our shopping form um in the next video we are going to basically create our list so we're going to create our shopping um row the cell and we're going to create the shopping item list and we're also going to create our content view to wrap this uh, whole thing up and gonna build and see what we got okay so i'll see you guys in the next video thank you